Jenna. The day is here to finally show you and do a little quick flip through um, off my Hobonichi. Um, for those who are checking in to one of my videos for the first time, thank you for joining me. Um, if you haven't seen on my channel, I have filmed quite a number of Hobonichi flip through videos or journal flip through videos um, over the past couple of years I think now I've been on YouTube <laughs> um, so feel free to check those out um, so this is my Hobonichi for 2020 I got a new cover I've only ever had one other cover before but I invested and got a beautiful pastel Ginham um, color um, cover which I like I love that again and pattern so I had to get that I've been putting in um, different postcards and things in because it comes with this clear little case on cover on cover so I've been adding some of my artworks to the front of my journal each month things I've been creating that are available in my shop like this 2020 year of the rat postcard so I did have this available in print but because it's really hard to post right now, I think I'm going to release this as a printable in my shop. So you can get this artwork as a printable in my shop if you head over um, to my online shop. The details are in the description box and you can always find me posting about my latest products um, in the videos here on my Instagram account and Facebook as well. So feel free to check that out. So wow, what a year guys. Um, I'm sounding really like upbeat and chipper right now, but it's been, for me personally, um, a whirlwind the last two years. Um, I'm not going to get into detail on camera because I like to keep things private. I don't find it easy to talk about things that are hard because they're so heartbreaking that I can't talk about them and I'll just get upset. So it has been a hard last two years and then on top of that we had the um, Australian drought, the bushfires, um, I had a trip planned that's been 10 years in the wanting to go um, that had to be cancelled because of COVID. It's important we're all safe, but still. Um, so it's been a hard year. On top of that, we've had the pan world pandemic. It's been horrid. Um, but I want to keep this video positive, so that's why I haven't been filming too much previously because I wasn't in the headspace to be positive and film things. I'm feeling good today. I'm excited to start my new journal. I'm excited to share with you my new journal here. But it's been tough. So so I hope you are all well. It's been a tough year for all of us. But let's get to the flip through. So I've got a little Moomin pen. I was really excited to find this. I like the little cherry blossom characters. It reminded me of me and my husband when we went to Japan quite like, I think it's about 10 years ago now, cherry blossom season. I thought it was really cute. So that reminds you of us. So I got that in there. This was a postcard from my lovely pen pal, Joanne. Thank you for sending. She uh, has the most amazing taste and she finds the most unique and beautiful postcards. Thank you Joanne for this. I love this. She's so nice to send me some postcards on her um, recent trip, obviously before COVID. You can normally tuck in your Hobonichi cover in here, but I'm started to leave mine out. The reason for that is I love plastering, um, I guess sticker bombing um, my covers now with stickers or washi tape. Um, there's many things on here that are actually my personal creations printables. So I've got my printables here, here, here. Um, oh, the little um, Animal Crossing ones and the flowers too. So those printables are available, um, especially these ones, available from my online shop. And then I've got a few other little stickers like things from Pen Pals. And some washi tape that I had and I love Koeshi dolls. So just lots of favorites. So I'm using this cover as like a place where I put lots of like favorite stickers. Like there's like Care Bears for nostalgia. It's, it's like my interests and loves to decorate. So this is a bit more newer than what I've done in my past journals. I haven't always been decorated these pages. That was also one of my printables. I think it was in the date sticker printable. Um, this was like a draft design so that's why it's a bit bigger. 
Um, and then some stamps and more cute. This is that awesome washi tape. Oh my god. I love it. Um, so I haven't really utilized these sections. I always think, oh, I'm going to do like a bullet journal thing, but then I never do. Um, I got Christmas. I want to put my date stickers in here because I didn't make date stickers for Christmas. So I think I might go back and print them up. I don't know, maybe I'll forget after this video. I won't do it, who knows. Um, but I normally, if you see my other videos, I will um, put a sticker down that summarizes something that happened on that day. So I still do a bit of that, but of course I've been designing these date stickers. They can be used for your monthly pages, um, um, your weekly pages or your daily pages. So I've got them um, on all those um, sections, but I've kind of just used some of them. Like I do have the date sticker sets always feature every day, but because I still wanted to add some stickers and that, I um, just put them on certain days and then I put the rest on the weekly pages. So that's another way you can use these date sticker printables. I design them every month. You can head over to my online shop and get them today if you wanted to. You can always go back and do them. So even though these are um, January and I've got them for most of the first half of the year, you can, if you've got those areas empty in your journal, that could be a great way for you to finish up your journal by adding some extra detail with those date stickers. I do try my best to create um, stationery that you guys can really use or maybe there's a section in your journal that stresses you out or you haven't decorated it but I think the printables allow you to add a bit of quick decoration um, at a budget price too for um, these date stickers. And this was the self love. So this one obviously was kind of like Aussie New Year feel date stickers. And then this one was self love, self care. And then I kind of themed um, around the sides of washi tapes and different papers um, for that. So this was from the um, little prompt sheet part of my self love printable. And then you got the date stickers as well. Um, and obviously it worked well because it was February, so it kind of worked with that love theme. Um, I did a Japan, okay, <sighs> I feel really like casual about talking about it now, but I better let the cat out the bag. So yeah, me and my husband plan a trip to Japan. This has been 10 years wanting since the last trip. Um, like I mentioned, we wanted to go because we hadn't traveled overseas. We don't, we don't have the luxury of traveling overseas every year. Um, we normally go every 10 years or so. Um, oh, you guys know how much I love Japan. So I've been heartbroken. Um, we had to cancel all the borders closed. So, um, yeah, so we didn't get to Japan. So that's why I created this day sticker set because... It was going to be some of the places we we're going to visit. Um, uh, yeah, it's just, whew, um, it's hard to look back on it now, but I love Japan. So, um, yeah, it was, it's just been tough because we really needed this holiday. Why well, do that theme? But obviously I love Japan. So a little Easter egg there. Um, and then we've got April, so Easter. So I did a lovely like Easter-y kind of autumn slash spring theme. I know that we don't all share the same seasons, so when I'm doing these too, I always try my best to be um, a little, give a bit of variety on the season. So it's got you a bit of autumn, but it's got you a bit of spring for the people that are going through their spring. Um, and I just illustrated um, lots of things that reminded me of my Easter. And then the world went crazy for Animal Crossing. So I did an Animal Crossing spread. I haven't been able to play it because I couldn't afford the device um, but I really loved the characters and I did like all research about like I read up all about it and I found that I really kind of love just finding out about something and then researching it um, as much as I can um, but I really love the characters I did play like there's the free app pocket camp of Animal Crossing that's free I played that so I was able to like find out about a few things um, from that so I really enjoyed 
making these characters and because I felt like I was missing out because I couldn't afford the device I felt like I was kind of part of it because I was like illustrating these characters and sharing them with everyone and people were telling me like their favorite characters as well so it was really nice um, to do that and then I've got the storybook one for June I've just released in my store um, a Korean drama themed date sticker set for July. So that is available now. Um, so if you love K dramas, <laughs> I'm obsessed, guys. I'm obsessed. It's so bad. I like have to like when I finish a season, I have to turn off and then not go to another one because I need to get my life back. <laughs> I'm just so addicted. Um, but um, I'll be talking more about um, these in a future video, so stay tuned for that. So for the weekly pages, I always go in that I want to like. That's the place where I'm gonna put my to-do list symbol and organization and that. Um, I don't know why, but just lately I used to write to-do lists and now I'm just someone who rather get something done and then write in what I've done or just instead of bother writing a list, I'll start doing the things because I feel like I'm wasting time if I'm writing the list. So that's been kind of working. So that's why there's not like lists, but I did want to use a to-do list. So for this, I've just been using this as kind of like extra journaling space. So when I do a daily page, if I can't fit something on that page from that day, I will stick it onto the weekly section. So if I get a new washi tape or washi sample from a pen pal, I will you know, I fit a bit of it on there and I want to put some more, I'll go straight to here and, and just start putting it in there. So as you do it bit by bit daily, it starts to have some sort of kind of decoration on it. So if you feel like you're struggling to fill these pages, that could be an idea. I also just was really getting back into my watercoloring as well, especially down in lockdown, more chance for me to kind of play with the things that I have at home and also not always been able to afford stationery. So I've been kind of going through my stash and using my things a bit more. I got really back into watercolor and mixed media and just kind of playing around. And I just spent the afternoon um, because I thought these pages were still so blank, even though there was like bits on there, like there's packaging and all sorts of things like that. Um, I just thought, oh, I'm just going to watercolor them all and do a different pattern for each one. So I did that. I used watercolors and I themed the colors around things that were already on the page. So if this had a bit of yellow and orange or blues, greens, I did like those colors on the weeklies. And I'm really happy with how they turned out. I love watercoloring in the Hobonichi because I love this kind of crinkly watercolor feel of the page I know that's so strange but um yeah that's what I did for the weekly pages so if you need an idea for that um so for this page this is the turn in to a new year page and um I yeah never really used this page before this page was completed recently about a week ago I decided I was going to use it as a summary page and stick things on there that, that happened during this six months like some major stuff, some bad stuff, some happy stuff, a bit, a bit of both. Um, so I kind of go into how it's happened about reopening my Etsy shop and creating my designs. Um, just some positive things like 10 year anniversary and then things about um, the isolation um, during the pandemic and yeah, just some thoughts. So really quick, it didn't take me too much time at all because I just kind of got a little summary of everything here. So these are onto the daily pages. While my pages are really colorful um, and fun looking, I think I like to compensate sadness sometimes or hard times with fun, colorful stationery. I like journaling is my happy place. So even though there's lots of bad things going on, I want to keep my journal as my happy place. So I will make it colorful. I'll make it fun. I won't, I won't focus on um, political things and news and um, things that are going to make me upset and just I'm, I yeah I don't this is my relaxed time this is where I want to document um, I do document positive and negative um, I will be keeping some of those pages private and I'm going to cover some things of personal information um, but 
yeah, so if you just think it looks really happy, I just, that's why, um, because I try and, it's kind of like, I guess, therapy for me, journaling. Yeah, kind of use this as my bit of colourful, fun th therapy, so, and try and focus on the good things, because you can always find good things, even though if there's bad things going on. <laughs> do a lot of, I use things from pen pals, packaging, I cut out things from um, magazines, I'm always using magazines, I really want to do um, something on that soon because it's something I've been doing for years, I use magazines and make my own paper, ephemera, um, just things I've collected on my day, bits of stationery, um, packaging, yeah, so that's what I've kind of done for these pages. So I mentioned that I use magazines to journal with and I actually use um, books too. So I use children's books. I really love how this turned out. So it looks funny here because it's a bit cut off. But I really loved how I did this. So I was just playing and it's just a matter of playing around with what you got. So I really loved this because it was like a relaxing day at home. And what I did was I cut the picture out. So some of it's here, but instead of like just kind of tipping it in. Well, I've got washi tape there just for extra reinforcement. But what I did was I glued half of it in and kept this little bit um, flappy. So I really love how it turned out. And you can't really see her face there, but she's carrying books, but I really liked the cat. And um, I just really liked how this page turned out. And then I added some extra section here from the book. So it kind of looks like she's kind of sitting on the lounge and then it kind of talks about the day. So this is probably one of my favorite pages. The lovely Pamela shared my free printable on one of her videos. Um, she was called Little Magic Art, but I think she's called Pocket Pam at the moment. Um, she is so lovely. Thank you so much, Pamela, for featuring. I get such a kick out of when you guys tag me. To be featured in someone else's video is like the biggest hug. Thank you so much. Um, I'm only a small channel, so those things really matter. Like they, they, I feel so, yeah, it really cheers me up. Um, it really can make a bad day turn into an amazing day. Um, especially when I see you guys, you, um, what you're creating with the printables and things. So I was really thankful. So thank you, Pam. I also subscribe to her amazing channel because she's so lovely too. And she's so talented and creative. So thank you so much. Um, we've been doing a Studio Ghibli puzzle. I actually got that 10 years ago in Japan. So I just thought it was quite funny and ironic, I guess, that I started finally putting it together during this current crisis. I'm theming my pages around movies. I kind of watched a lot of old 90s movies. I went back and they were like really feel good movies, like some of my favorites. <laughs> Um, 
because I didn't have Animal Crossing, I, um, I, I love video games, but I always play, let me know in the comments if you did this too, PC adventure point and click games. I was obsessed with them when I was a kid and I still love them today, but I found out that some companies have released like these newer point and click adventures and I played this game, Kathy Rain, and it just felt like the old school DOS PC game. And I loved it so much. Um, so I've been searching on the app, because they're only like a couple of dollars. Um, I can play them on the iPad. So I've been playing them. Um, love it. So you're going to see some more point and clicks that I played with coming up. This is Easter. So I've got my Easter date stickers. Um, more of my printables here. It's called Blackwell, it's like a mystery series. And it was like a quite a few number of games. That was really, really cool. So if you like point and click adventure games, I think it was a point and click adventure games that made me learn to be observant about things because you kind of have to like figure things out yourself and observe your surrounds and kind of crack the cases. I think that's why I've kind of got those <laughs> observation skills. So they are educational. Um, some more Carol Capek tea. My pen pal Jeannie sent me the Mizzy Tama card. Oh my god, I nearly lost it. This is what I'm talking about. This cheered me up because of the Japan trip that um, was cancelled. Um, and I just scanned it um, instead of sticking it in here because I didn't want to waste it um, because I might use it in the front of my journal. Um, but love that. And this is an old point and click game. Echo Quest, The Search of Cetus. And there was like another one in the rainforest, which I played too. One of my favorite, Sierra made these Discovery series and I used to play them all. So, um, a little bit of nostalgia. I think is my favorite Carol Capek tea. I did, I, um, my lovely pen pal sent this to me and I, I think this is my favorite Carol Capek because it's like this beautiful English breakfast blend. I only got one of them so I really want to track down some more but I have to say I think this one takes it. Um, this is um, yeah, the, one of my favorites. <laughs> This is my Animal Crossing, so I also did an Animal Crossing date sticks, but I did do an Animal Crossing special sheets. So they've got memo paper in it and extra stickers. So they're available in my online shop. I used a lot of these from the sticker sets. So this page, I did do a video on this, so feel free to check out that video. Um, really getting into watercolors again and mixed media. I'm just playing about. I really like how I did this, so I sent my friend a Happy Mail book, um, like the one I featured in my video, but just a bit a newer one. And I kind of did this like accordion of all the pages, and I flipped, I tipped them in. Um, so if you can see how I've kind of done that, I really like, and it lays flat, so instead of it being all thick, I kind of put them on an angle, so it ends up like showing each of the pages of this little Happy Mail book that I made. <laughs> This was my Animal Crossing tracker. They're available from my online shop as well. I, because I didn't play the game, I decided to mix up how to do this tracker. So this is another way um, to use a tracker. So what I did was, um, this one was fish because it's meant to be about the things you collect in Animal Crossing, which is fish, bugs, fossils, wish lists. So I did fish and I wrote about my favorite fish and chip shop. I did for bugs, I put things that were bugging me. Um, for fossils, I think I just wrote about my day there. And then for wish lists, I wrote some things on my wish list that I wanted. So you can always like play around with these printables.
um, secret, so I did a storybook date sticker themed stickers. So the first week is the secret garden. So I themed my pages to those date stickers. Um, I also, this is where <laughs> the Korean drama obsession started. My first Korean drama was Hollow Love. So I did a little page on that and I had like this, um, some paper from the thrift shop I found. Um, yeah, that's like hologram. So I did that. Um, just more K-drama journaling. Um, Love Alarm I watched. I had this little die cut and it looks exactly like the girl Jojo. So it's been fun. I try and use my stash when I can. Um, crash landing on you. And I've got my gnome stickers. So I had a sticker subscription that had to be cancelled. Um because they couldn't deliver anymore and even before the pandemic they just weren't getting to me decided to put the funds into a couple of patreons um just only only can afford some small tiers i want to i'm a small business creator as well so i know how important it is to um, be supported so i wanted to use some of that sticker subscription funds to some people that might have who are making amazing art and um, I want to do my best to give back when I can. So depending on how my store sales go, it also depends on how many patrons and when I can follow. So I probably won't be able to do them every month, but I'll be turning them on and off for different creators and trying to support them as much as I can. <laughs> These are from my K-Drama um, printables. This is my book journaling uh, I wrote about because I filmed the video, but I've been working on this set for quite a number, quite a number of weeks, um, uh, months. Um, but yeah, so I made a little book journal, so feel free to check that out. And if anyone wants to do a book journal, um, have a look at the printables. <laughs> So just quickly, what's in the pockets? Also just started my new Hobonichi cousin second half of 2020 journal if you'd like to see a setup video of this please let me know in the comments it really depends on you guys interests I've used some book journaling printables stickers that I created for the cover as well as one of the stickers I designed for my Korean drama date sticker sheet which is available in my shop now. It also comes with a Korean drama playlist, which I've created, which is one of the pages in my new Hobonichi. So I'm doing a Korean drama theme for my July Hobonichi for the start of my journal. I'll be marking off as I've been watching these with a little love heart stamp. Thanks for your support, guys, and thanks so much for watching. If you're a regular viewer, thank you so much for constantly ch um, checking out my videos. It's such a great support. And to anyone new who's um, joined me, thank you so much for clicking on the video too. And hello, or welcome. I'd um, love to have you here. See you in my next video, guys. Hopefully it won't be too far away. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.